Godot 4.3 is nearing full release and there is one change that I think is going to be super important for you guys to take advantage of. And I will show you a quick little cheat to convert your existing Godot 4.2 projects to use this new feature. G'day guys and welcome to the channel. I'm AJ and today we are talking about um, the impending Godot 4.3 release and in particular our tile map layer nodes. So in Godot 4.2, we used a tile map to organize all of our uh, scenery basically, and we could create separate layers within that one node. So if we look at the screen here, we've got our tile map node selected in our scene tree, and then here are all the layers that have been created to handle those different um, elements of our map. We can also have a look in our tile map window at the bottom and all of our layers show up there as well. What we're looking at now in Godot 4.3 is trying to simplify this. So what we're, the issue with having all of our layers within the one node is it means that it's one big chunky node to be processed. Whereas if we break this out into separate layers, it means that we can handle each of those layers individually uh, when we're processing, but also it's gonna just make it a lot easier to navigate. I actually have to scroll to the bottom here and then click across to the next lot of layers I have, having all of this converted to just be individual nodes over here in our scene tree is gonna be a lot easier. We can still control things like our wire sorting and our Z indexing from here, but we can also do it by moving things in our scene tree too. So what is that secret trick I so, uh, sort of teased at the start? Well, we come down here to our little tool button and we have this one here, extract tile map layers as individual tile map layer nodes. We click on that and voila, over in our scene tree, we've now got all these individual tile map layer nodes um, and we can change them around. We can also come across to our inspector, go to our ordering, and then we can control things like our Z index and our Y sorting, etc. It is that simple. It is a small but significant change. Um, shouldn't take any of us long to get used to it. And you can really easily convert your existing projects over um, so that you're keeping up with the latest engine. That's it from me today, guys. I hope you learned something.